some people may say, Kevin, I don't like reading the Bible because I don't understand what I am reading. So what is the point in reading the Bible when I don't understand it? In an earthly sense, that makes sense. But in a spiritual sense, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> The more you read the Bible, even if you don't understand it, the more you read it over and over and over again, somehow it does something to you to where if you go back to it after or go somewhere else, and reading the Bible, you are going to begin to understand it much more. I am telling you, there were times I used to read with this other woman and her and I would read every day almost, like every single day, about two hours, one or two hours, sometimes three hours every day. And there were times where we really did not understand anything that we were reading. Maybe some things, but many of the time, hardly anything. But the more we read, more, more, and more, it became easier to interpret the way that I am now I pretty much <laughs> I am I listen to teachings and when I make my videos I read the Bible as well at least some of the time and so pretty much every day, my mind is pretty much on God's word. So when I do read something or when I do hear something, many of the time it makes sense very fast. Now, in some cases like the end times prophecy and stuff like that, I don't really understand it too well. But some of the other things I do understand. My point is, continue to read even if you don't understand what you are reading. Continue to read. Because when you read the Bible, I can't explain it in words, but it really does something spiritually to you. To where you are able to comprehend what you begin to read. I am telling you. And the more you do it, the better it is going to be for you. It is the same thing with prayer. When you are always praying, it is not going to be that hard to pray. But let's say that you don't pray for a week or so to get back to praying again, it is going to be so hard. <laughs> so we can't look at prayer or reading the Bible as this earthly thing where you can get right back to it or whatever else. No, it is a spiritual thing. So it doesn't work the same at all. So I pray that this makes sense. The more you read it, you are going to understand it. So read even when you don't understand. Let me say this. I believe this and I can be wrong. I can be wrong about this. But let me say this. But I can be wrong about this. I believe 
when you read the Bible and when you don't understand, I believe God may be purposely testing you like he is blocking your mind I guess you can say to where you can't fully comprehend what you are reading to see if you are going to continue to read anyway while you don't understand what you are reading I don't know if that makes any sense to you so let me block part of your mind so you won't be able to comprehend what you are reading. I am doing this to see if you are going to continue to read even when you don't understand. Now, I can be wrong about that, but I believe that is one of many ways that God tests us by doing something like that. But I can be wrong about that. Because there are days when I can pretty much comprehend many things. And then like a day or two later or a week later, like <laughs> I am not understanding anything that I am reading. Why is that? So if they have to tell you, in order for me to be at the point where I can comprehend almost, not everything, but many things, then in other day, I can't really comprehend anything. It is not so much as I am tired. So I take that as... I am being tested, perhaps. I don't know. Because what I was having a hard time with before, when I go through it now, it is like really simple. Like how in the world did I have a difficult time understanding this? <laughs> I believe God can open your mind and close your mind as well. I believe that. And you may think I am wrong, and perhaps I am, but I believe he may close your mind to test you, to see what you are going to do, to see if you are going to continue to read or not. That is a possibility. Let me stop here. So my point is continue to read even when you don't understand what you are reading. Because God is going to open your mind. And you are going to comprehend what you are reading. But you have to stay with it. Don't take like a month break <laughs> and believe that your comprehension and everything is going to be the same. Because chances are, I don't think so. No. So let me stop here. God bless you.